St. John. Back in the hills where the halfway runs, the peace river flows. As soon as they gone. Upper Cash Creek on the no Ranch. The black bears roam and the wild horses play. It was my home. I'll always be home. I'm just in D.C. long hair and neck, son of a war pet. I got a 30-30 and an attitude to go with it. And don't look down on me, boys, for how I was raised. I'm just some D.C. long hair redneck son of a war vet. I broke the law when I was a kid. I pointed a gun at another man's head. He was in the wrong. I still stand strong. I did my time in B.C. pen. For what detail, I'm splitting wood. And when I got home, man, he was long gone. I'm just a D.C. long hair redneck, son of a war vet. I got a 30-30 and an attitude to go with it. I'm gonna look down on me, boys, for how I was raised. I'm just a D.C. long hair redneck, son of a war vet. This is a third verse that I had to go home and write. I'm proud of my dad. He went off to war. He landed back in Geno Beach in 44. He didn't turn and run, but he aimed his guns. Hey, he put his own life on a limb for his kidding home. He was so proud of he was a hell of a man. Yeah, I'm one of his sons. I'm just some D.C. long hair redneck, son of a war vet. I got a 30-30 and an attitude to go with it. Don't look down on me, boys, for how I was raised. I'm just some D.C. long hair redneck, son of a war vet. I'm just a D.C. long hair redneck, son of a war vet. I'm just some D.C. long hair redneck, son of a war vet. Yeah. Thank you very much, you guys. Awesome. Hold. This song here I wrote probably took me 40 years to write it. Oh, no problem. Where the fuck did the bass She's pedal go? Music. It took me 40 years to kind of write it, I guess, in a sense. Four minutes to sing it. That's my life. Four minutes. Ten years to pen. <laughs> yeah. No, not ten. <laughs> did a year. So I call this Yellowhead Highway. Yellowhead Highway. I went on the road back in 1977. I toured Western Canada for about almost 40 years before the drugs and alcohol finally said, shut her down. But I made a good living. All through from the Yellowhead Highway, it was right up to Rupert, right up down to Bonnie, not Bonnie, but Lloyd Minister. Yeah, we made a pretty good living on that, that highway for many years, so it's called Yellowhead Highway. <laughs> In a West Adam Ball town, Northern Alberta wind, right up to Prince Rupert, first time playing the Hoop Pacific Rim. And I drank there a lot. Down at Joe's Ocean View Hotel. My time was good there. Though sometimes it seemed like hell. The Yellowhead Highway took me west. And women and whiskey and coke took the rest. And cocaine highs and whiskey nights. Empty faces and barroom fights. I don't forget those days, though it seems so long ago. Hey, Yellowhead Highway. Hey, Yellowhead Highway. 
Now you'll hear how we I've been traveling this highway 30, 30 years Here's the Thames Presently Terrorists and these things Met a lot of good people Some of them are not alive today I miss them all dearly they're still with me in these songs that I play. The Yellowhead Highway took me west, and women whiskey and coke tried their best to take this life away. And my whiskey nights and cocaine highs. I don't forget those days, though it seems so long ago. The Yellowhead Highway. Yellow Head Highway Yellow Head Highway <laughs> I've done this for years Been playing up and down this highway I was lost in a world that didn't seem to be going my way a yellowhead highway, a yellowhead highway, a yellowhead highway. Thank you, oh, thank you very much, guys. Very kind. Miss the yellowhead. It's time to go back. Okay. Well, thanks, My brother said it's the same thing I said. David Allen Cole. Dave, oh, Dave. <laughs> you know Dave oh, Allen? yeah, I love David Allen Cole. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, I haven't done cover songs. I'd love to try that. Right, I used to like doing that. Oh, way. I like all David Allen. Uh, doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> David, David's David. Dak is pretty good music. This song here, uh, 1977, like I said, I went on the road. In 80, 1985, I was so burnt out from drugs and cocaine. I had to, and I was country band. <laughs> but I had to shut the road down. My wife made me. Made me shut, shut her down, and I ended up going up to a place called Dees Lake and ended up going on the highways, working for the BC Highways. <laughs> but, uh, came up an accident. Thanks a lot for having me. No problem, man. And, uh, for many, many years, uh, this song has cursed me. The night, the night that this accident happened, I, uh, found two bottles of whiskey that was in the dead man's truck and flew out into a creek bank. I took it home to camp that night. I was working at Bob Quinn Lake up Highway 37. <laughs> and uh, I was running around that night saying, hey, we're drinking a dead man's whiskey. Now here it is 30 years later and I finally wrote a song about it. But I see their eyes every time I sing this, man, or I see their faces. <laughs> Park in the lake out on Sideway 37 See me and Dad hit a baby bridge On the lonesome gravel road Two bottles of whiskey Lay on broken on the creek bank I picked them up, took them back to camp I drank them without no remorse I'm drinking a dead man's whiskey That night, some was torn from me. Don't know the name of the two men that died that day. I didn't even take the time to pray. I drank the whiskey anyway. The lure of the alcohol. The call of the night burned a hole in my eyes and left me without sight. I was running blind all those years. Even cocaine and whiskey couldn't erase what I seen with my tears. But every night the devil comes for me. She tempts me with her whiskey and weed. She whispers in my ears, I'll be forgiven. 
of all of my bad deeds. I'm drinking a dead man's whiskey. The night sun was torn from me. I'm drinking a dead man's whiskey. I didn't even take the time to pray. I drank the whiskey anyway. playing for everybody everybody's kind of focused on me it's kind of <clears throat> uh, yeah. this song here is about uh different wasn't gonna do it tonight but i think it will hi honey so i'm here <laughs> this is a song about a friend of mine out in alberta he was kind of one of the first bikers ever a real true biker that i ever met but unfortunately, uh, he, ended, he ended up on the wrong side of a gun. This is called Buzzer's Cry. Loosen his grip on his Colt 45. Great stain on his damn shirt, he's dirty alive. His heart is upside down in a ditch He always knew he'd end up like this Here come fires blazing Silence echoes out of sound The old man lays dying The body won't be found His friends have told him Man, you're bound to die. Can you hear them buzzing? Let's try. I miss my guitar player. I usually got a buddy of mine who comes with me on this stuff. And he plays me in you know, last fall. Down in that desert town in the 49ers. An Alberta Prairie boy built himself a chopper. A knucklehead, you had to kick and get it started. And he loved that bike like he loved one no other. Yeah, gone fires blazing, silence echoes out of sound. A young man lays dying, his body won't be found. His friends have told him, man, you're bound to die. Can you hear them buzzards cry? A deal gone bad in a cold night in September. The black Cadillac had chased him down to that morning. He emptied his clip in the car that followed behind him. You're never gonna find this old school biker. Here are gonna fires blazing, silence echoes out of sound. A young man lays down, a body won't be found. His friends have told him, man, you're bound to die. Can you hear them buzzards cry? Ooh, that was a little rusty. Yeah! Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah. Just keep going? Okay, uh, how about a little bit of country, kind of, what I call country. Right? Yeah, man. Southern country. Ashka. If you guys don't mind me saying, I wrote this last time I was in jail. Okay. And it was about six years ago. <laughs> Not good when you're 61. I don't see But it, I, I was released in all the Mondays. So it was pretty good. 
Oh, hell, no, actually, that was a different song. That's my crying song. But I'll, maybe I'll do it anyways. <laughs> I, was in the, I was in the Guilford basement in the RCMP. Uh, downstairs. And, uh, man, I was sitting there staring at them cement floors and cement walls and my cement bed. And thought, Jesus Christ, I'm 55 years old, man. <laughs> I'm a grandpa. What the hell am I doing here? Well, because of this weed that was all legal now, eh? Yeah. So it was kind of funny. Well, actually, it wasn't at the time. I could have <laughs> I could have went away for many years, but for, unfortunately, I didn't. So I, I was kind of, I was thinking, man, if I can get out of this mess, I'll kiss the floor. I don't even know if I got a, a name for this song. It's just uh, where I want to go. I guess is what it's called. I've been to prison a few times. I guess I never learned. My dad said I was a slow learner. You never give what you give in return. man's handshake was his final word But I'm in jail again for a man who didn't know how to keep his word And if I get to you where I want to go I cannot leave my sins behind Some folks must think I was unkind. I put a gun to a man's head. I don't know what was going through my mind. And if I get to where I, I want to go, then I'll leave my sins behind. Another day of hardcore drinking but Since I left these prison walls I can't seem to tell my loved ones How sorry for the hell I put them through Cause if I listen to my father If I the kindness of my mother I wouldn't be here And if I get to where I want to go I'll leave my sins right here And if I get to where I want to go I cannot leave my sins behind so many of them Some folks must think I was kind I put a gun to a man's head I don't know what's going through my mind But if I get to you where I want to go Leave my sins behind And if I get to you where I, I want to go And I'll leave my sins behind Another day of hardcore drinking what was the first thing I did when I got out of jail? Pulled up a fountain and got liquor. <laughs> I was on probation. They could have sent me away for many years again. <sighs> and then I just yeah, I traveled that, uh, that yellowhead highway. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is my this song here I call the Outlaw Song. I don't really have a name for it. I guess just the Outlaw Song. I was I was uh, listening to. Uh, 
pod, podcast, radio, indie radio, Galaxy 107, uh, FM out of New Zealand. Some this DJ Grant, he's uh, interviewing some some Texas boy down, you know, 18 year old kid saying I'm an I'm an outlaw, you know. He's, He's outlaw music. That's fine. He's, but he's bragging that he's kind of an outlaw. Well, he he probably crossed the street or something. You know, did something something bad like that. No idea. So that's when this song occurred to me. Uh, can you sing outlaw songs if you've never been an outlaw? How can you moan the blues if you've never been blue? How can you write songs about prison you never been there? Yeah, that's the difference between me and you Yeah, that's the difference between me and you Well, back in 87, I went to prison It was much better than being on the run and So that judge, he sentenced me to hard labor he said, boy, that will teach you, but not to pull on a gun. I really handcuffed behind my back just like the movies. And they threw me in a paddy wagon, hauled my ass down south. In Christmas Eve in prison, it wasn't pretty. Now when you got two kids at home that you love. Can you sing outlaw songs if you've never been an outlaw? How can you moan the blues if you've never been blue? How can you sing songs of prison if you've never been there? Yeah, that's the difference between me and you. Yeah, that's the difference between me and you. Like I said, Christmas Eve in prison, it wasn't pretty. Yeah, just like Merle's song brought a choir from all off the street. They sang songs about Jesus and the Bible. Man, I wanted to slap that warden right here in the face. You know my prison life behind me, I'm not proud of. Yeah, man, don't worry, folks, I'm not allowed to own a gun. But the one thing that can't take away is my music. And I'm still gonna write about outlaws in my songs. I can be sing outlaw songs if I've never been an outlaw. I can be moan blues if I've never been blue. How can you write songs about prison? You've never been there. Yeah, that's what separates me from you. Yeah, that's what separates me from you. Little Hank up there. <laughs> Thank you, guys. One more? This one, okay, this one, I, I'm a real yappy bugger, right? Ever since I quit drinking, I talk now. I haven't drank in 10 years, fell off the wagon three, three times in them 10 years. It's a, it's a bastard and addiction. No crutches? no crutches? No, no, so far. Hey, buggered up knees, but... That's why I never uh, quit drinking. I hate falling off wagons. <laughs> yeah, the wagons kind of get... As you get older, they hurt though when you fall off. They hurt really bad. That's when another wife wants to leave. Hey, after three of them, I don't think... I think I learned my lesson. <laughs> I was sitting in traffic with a buddy of mine, me and a fella out in the island room, and wrote this song called Life on the West Coast, and uh, we were looking at some chick there, and she looked like she was just having the, the typical shitty day in traffic and jammed up, you know, right to the Alberta border, probably. <laughs> so uh, we sat there and looked at each other, and this is what we came up with. Morning rush out of traffic It's given on the radio Portland Bridge is at a crawl That's the tunnel's moving slow Now she's whole lot of magic Taylor Hoffman's in her hand Caught 
coffee in her cup is cold and this ain't what she had planned she want a life on the west coast that live the bird town and one more day with those ways of green she thought you would drown life on the west coast life on the west coast Is in the forecast, job market's looking in the ground. Yeah, boogie office to the food bank on the only side she seen. Her mother tried to tell her there's just no place like home, but she wouldn't listen. Now, CBC and her all alone. She want a life on the west coast at Liverpool town. One more day with those ways of green. She thought she would drown. Life on the west coast. Life on the west coast. Life on the west coast. She misses her family. It's been a long time since she's been gone But she knows in her heart Lower mainland Will always be her home Yes, she wanted a life on the west coast She had to leave the prairie town And one more day with those The ways of green She thought she'd drown Life on the west coast on the west coast Life on the west coast Life on the west coast Thanks you guys Is anybody uh, I kind of already I've been up here a while I think I can, if, if you don't kick me out, I'll be up here. Keep playing. <laughs> you don't mind me still doing this original stuff? Uh, I'll do another one for now. Oh, I, I don't. I need my guitar player, but I should do. I wrote this song when I was in Guilford down in jail there. I, I wrote this song, you guys. Like I just couldn't help it. It's, it's not completed, but uh, it's kind of fun to do. It's a blues too. I never wrote blues songs in my life. So the harp, uh, so Mark on the harp would probably sound pretty good on this. Yeah. Switch up. Sure. Yeah. You want to play a little harp on this, Mark? Just in the key of A. Is it a minor? No minors, no, just A, D, and E. I call it the South Surrey Blues. It's pretty fitting, man, when you're sitting in South Surrey jail. I've got them grow up blues. Yeah, the cops that took my boots. I got them grow up blues, baby. Yeah, the cops that took my cowboy boots. They locked me in the cell. I got them sassy blues. They found my money and my guns Oh, the yard They found my $20 bill And a 12-gauge shotgun out in the yard They wanna throw away the key I'm smoking too much weed I got the wrong girl up, please the cops took my boots. I got them on the grow up blues, baby. Yeah, the cops he took my cowboy boots. They locked me in this cell. I got them sassier blues.
it shot my eye blue heat of dark And I heard around the yard They killed my blue heat of dog now Hell, it shot around the yard I hold the son of a bitch And he gets on my tips Got them South Sir Blues. Yeah. Well, that sounded pretty good. It's kind of exciting when people you don't even know get up and play um, some of your stuff, eh? Even though that's just simple uh, three chords, but it sounded pretty cool, Mark. One more? One more? Do do one more. Hey, uh, and he got it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What I wish, I wish this thing was it doesn't seem very clear. Would you like to hear, I, actually I wrote this brand new one and I'd like to try it out on you guys if you don't mind. Uh, back, back in the uh, back in the day when I started on the road, uh, I think it was around 1979. I met up with a guy, he was running from the law, I didn't know it at the time. But he was wanted for murder in Texas. And anyways, he came up here to Alberta, and I ended up playing, met up with him, and we ended up playing for about a year before the cops caught him. And uh, I knew he was running from the law, but I didn't know what he had done. I heard he died. He's in the, he's probably dead. But I, I call this, uh, this one here, I go, uh, where outlaws come from. This guy was a true outlaw, you guys. He was, I mean, he was a badass. He was a hell of a singer. He was a good looking man. He was a Texan, big tall bugger, but he was just a badass son of a bitch. Like most Texans are. So, uh, the other day I, I was thinking about him because he's probably six feet under somewhere. And I thought, man, you know, I should write a song about him. <laughs> but he didn't have much imagination. He gave me a phony name like he was telling me. And it was just Jesse. Really? You're running from the law and you pick Jesse James? <laughs> he was Texas born and raised. Yes, somewhere around Dallas. He was drifting with a fast mouth ex con. Half cowboy, some more than that law, son. But he made it to the border. Crossover somewhere south of Milk River. Got his guitar in his hands, and I want a poster to go with it. Rolling it down to Cowtown, yeah, winter of '79. We played every honky tonk in Alberta, man, those were the times. Just too long hair cowboy sometimes, no, has a Texas connection. And we were running from the law. Hell, I didn't even know I was wanted. He used to tell me, give me a pound of cocaine and a case of whiskey. A Magnum 44 and a four on the floor. We cross that thin line. On the edge of danger You run with me You better run Yeah, Dwayne, Dwayne, I'll show you I'll show you where Hell laws come from song. 
a bottle when nobody knows your songs and when you forget the words. <laughs> Easy again, nobody knows. Uh, give me a pound of cocaine and a case of whiskey. A Magnum 44 and a four on the floor. We cross that thin line on the edge of danger. You run with me, you better run. Yeah, Dwayne, I'll show you. I'll show you where how laws come from. You run with me, you better run. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you where how laws come from. I was raised up north of Fort St. John, back in the hills where the halfway runs. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Wayne Watson. Right on, buddy. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Oh, you guys. Oh,